This is the city central. This is the heart of Liverpool. This is love great. This place, man. One love. I'm Jed Gibbons and I'm Chief Executive of City Central Business Improvement District here in Liverpool. Liverpool City Central Business Improvement District works very closely with 600 businesses and organisations within Liverpool City Centre. The role of the Business Improvement District is while the swan is gliding gracefully across the water where the people underneath who are doing the furious paddling. We're often seen as the initial single point of contact for our very, very busy retail partners who really don't have the time or wouldn't necessarily understand how to navigate their way through the public sector. We do that on their behalf. A lot of the work that we do is invisible type work that the public aren't necessarily aware of, but would immediately become aware of if we were to stop doing it. Our business plan clearly identifies four key areas in terms of clean, green, safe and animated. Through City Central Bid, we actually buy in additional cleansing of the city centre. We work very closely with city centre management. The cleansing standards are set very, very high. So we pay for additional hot washing of streets. We pay for additional barrow walkers who go around and see litter pickers throughout the whole of the bid area, throughout the day. A lot of what we do is in partnership with a whole host of business units throughout the City Council. So we work with trade and standards, environmental health, environmental protection, licensing. We're receptive to working with a very, very dynamic city centre. And it's great. We're kept on our toes and people want us to move and keep developing. Council also makes a huge investment. The City Council second all of the staff to City Central. The bid is more than just the staff officers within City Central. We've got a very, very active executive board of directors. We've got a fantastic bid operating board, which includes senior elected members, senior people from, from the chamber, from the police, public sector, private sector. It, it's a huge team effort which goes beyond the people in the office. We work collaboratively outside of the formality of the board. In the course of a day we may speak to 20 or 30 organisations. That, that, that's how diverse the bid is and that network has been developed over the years. <laughs> Also sometimes simple things like hanging baskets was a way that we decided to animate Bold Street in particular and the area around the Royal Court and St John's Precinct. So sometimes it's simple things that aren't particularly costly but just help in terms of the image of the city and the softening of, of the city centre. <laughs> Ninety-nine percent of visitors who come to Liverpool by day feel safe, and that is a, as a result of a very, very close working partnership with Merseyside Police. We have a great working relationship at both operational and strategic levels. The Chief Inspector of Merseyside Police sits on our operating board. We're also very familiar with the officers by name. We know all all the bobbies who are out on the beat. But if there's something that needs dealing higher up the the chain of command, we, we've also got those contacts. Liverpool! Oh,
we've got a team who are very, very good at animating the city centre. We've got an event manager who looks after a, a, a year-round programme of events. Have a look round, speak to people, and make sure you shop in this city, because this is where fashion belongs. And this is so exciting here at the city central heart of Liverpool. We normally do a fashion event a couple of weeks before the Grand National. Local retailers can literally put on a show. People can buy the, the most up-to-date and fashionable items from, from anywhere, whether it's Marks and Spencers, Primark, St John's, Clayton Square. Real top quality, chic retail, the likes of Cricket, Vivian Westwood, the Met Quarter. <laughs> that have helped us. Radio City, Clayton Square, the fabulous s &M, which is great. M&S, surely that was a club last night. Do you almost stop going to that singles club? I just... Well, the show's been fabulous, really well produced, and the dancers have been amazing. There's so much more to come, and it's all because of this area. From the Metwater up to Great Square, a lot of things happening. Mother Care over here next week, so much more that's happening in this part of Liverpool. We target particular times of the year. We make sure that Liverpool is animated for when school children are on holidays. Summer, we bring an urban beach, complete with donkeys from Blackpool. We've also got massively supportive retailers who enjoy what we do. We actively encourage our businesses to become directly involved. For example, the Urban Beach in summer, Rapid very, very kind, kindly donates decking, tables, chairs, parasols. So there's an obvious direct link there between the event and the retail. It stimulates sales. Boots come and partner us in terms of giving some blocks to the children. Max Bielman will come and do photographs of the kids playing in the sands. We always seek to develop our events, good events, so as the result of ambitious and passionate people, and we've got that within the team. If we continue to bring in large-scale events, it will bring in families. If people stay longer in town, we all, we all need to eat and drink, so there's, there's, there's an obvious opportunity there for, for businesses within the Business Improvement District. It's about establishing Liverpool as a venue where people want to come back to time and time again. Sometimes an event may be the reason why people come into the city centre, but then they'll find out that we've got a fantastic Marks and Spencers, a fantastic Met Quarter, St John's, Bold Street, Clayton Square, one of the most successful Primarchs anywhere in Europe. It's about people sometimes by chance finding out what Liverpool's all about and sometimes events are the things that opens the door. That's Joe Cocker and Jennifer Warns and Up Where We Belong on BBC Radio Merseyside. Nine minutes past nine is the time and uh, we've got a, a brand new event taking place in Liverpool City Centre today. As if you didn't think the Grand National was enough to have on the go. We've also got uh, a taste of Spain. which is We had a request from the Spanish Tourism Board to come to Liverpool because of Liverpool Football Club's association with Torres, Pepe Reina. We brought in an event. But there was a paella dish which fed, which fed 500 people. We had glorious sunshine. The Minister of Tourism for Spain flew in specially from Madrid, could not believe Liverpool, the Liverpool offer. And people came to experience a taste of Spain here in Liverpool city centre. The lady who cooked the paella, she bought 180 kilos of chicken on two consecutive days here in Liverpool, which is an obvious spin-off for, for a local business. For every person who comes for that type of event, as part of an organisation. That equates to £200 per night. It's a significant step 
if we can attract the Minister of Tourism for Spain to come to Liverpool. One of the keys to good event management is, be, is about being creative. We brought in an ice rink last year where initially the organiser was looking for us to pay £75,000 for that. Through strong negotiations we convinced the event organiser not to go to one of his other options which was Oslo or Hyde Park. Financially it was more than viable for him so the £75,000 that we were looking to underwrite we managed to draw a line through that. We end up with a top class attraction. Before he'd even finished he wanted to come back. Crawling, sniffing, pausing, launching to furiously circle and crash face forward again and again. I can see the sun, see the sun, see the sun. I cannot see a barrier, though I inspect its surface. All else is dark, that way is light. Best Sunday I can remember in I don't know how long. What I saw was vibrance, I saw pedestrian flow, I saw the tills ringing, I saw, I felt good vibes and it came into the shops from the street outside. It was wonderful, it was marvellous. Brittle, tiny corpses. I was staggered at how well run the Bow Street Festival was and how well attended it was. And so hats off to News From Nowhere and the Central Bid team. I can't believe how successful it was. When I was asked to give 50 quid for it, I gave it to show willing. And you know, that was the best 50 quid I've ever spent. And I must say that although my rates have gone up as a result of being part of the bid, I'm beginning to think that's money well spent as well, so keep going. If we can build up a portfolio of, a, of events where there's almost an expectation that something will be happening in Liverpool, so we need to go in there for more commercial activity that we bring into town, which is what the public wants and the private sector wants. That then generates additional income and last year we, we virtually doubled the amount of income that we brought in. Liverpool is a destination. Liverpool has got that magnet, has got that draw. We've got people who are coming to Liverpool to experience a real breadth of offer, but they will only come, more importantly, they'll only return if the infrastructure and the whole package is there to support it. Liverpool's a very demanding place. By being demanding, it gets the best out of everybody. And if you've got a team who've got that mindset, the ability to work with a whole range of, of other partners, that ultimately is what leads to the success.